victims of their own success, and as Brian says, they've lost that energy and that hunger, that, des that desire, or is it and, a case... And the recruitment uh, hasn't, hasn't, yeah, been, or is it a case that hasn't just been good enough to help. So then you're the players that are replacing the likes of the Xavi and the Puyols and those supporting players that let the stars go under their thing aren't as good as what was no. there before. Like tonight, give you an example tonight, it's decided to be three at the back. For some reason, out of the three, he's got Peaky on the right-hand side. Peaky's the best user of the ball. He's got Mtiti in the middle, who's not very good in the ball. And on the left, he's got Matthew. So when they have the ball, they go forward. He's asking his two of the widest three to go right out to the touchline, make the pitch big, give them space to play. Every time the ball came to Matthew, he would take a step forward with his left foot and check back on his right foot and play it square. He doesn't want the ball out there. Mm. He's not a footballer. He's a defender. He's, he's, he's ordinary, and I'm being kind on him, when it comes to using the ball. He's, he, if you had asked him tonight, where do, you want to, where do you not want to be? It's wide with the ball at my feet. He put one ball in, if you remember, across where um, Suarez got across one of the defenders and nearly got an OG out of it. He does not want to be in that position. He's... I don't get it. They've won three European Cups and umpteen um, La Liga's playing with a back four. So you get a bit of success in the previous game against PSG. Let's change everything. Let's change the last decade. Uh, and, and it was only in the second half when they changed it again that it started to look like the Barcelona... I think we look at some of the, the statistics from uh, the match 